We celebrate the fifth Sunday in Easter, and we hear in the gospel Jesus telling his disciples he is the way, the truth, and the life. This time, though, we are not going to focus in the gospel in this program. I would like us instead to see two particular details in today's liturgy that are connected to the Ars Celebrandi, the art of celebrating the Eucharist. Hello, this is your friend Mauricio Perez. We are celebrating the liturgical season of Easter, and celebrating priests should make the most out of each holy mass they celebrate. Easter masses stand out in very specific ways, or maybe we should rather say Easter masses stand out in three very perceptible ways. One is, of course, the liturgical color white, which reminds us of the color of the garments of Jesus in the Transfiguration, white as light, for white is the color of God. In the case of Jesus, after his resurrection, he is as radiant as light, hence the color white in liturgical garments. In connection to this light, the second aspect that makes Masses in Easter stand out is the burning Paschal candle, which is the symbol of Jesus, the one who was crucified and is now risen. During Easter, it is not only burning, it is also placed next to the ambo, which symbolizes, and not only during Easter, but always, the empty sepulchre Jesus left behind after his resurrection. It was the empty sepulchre from where the angel proclaimed for the first time the good news of the resurrection, and this is why the ambo represents the empty sepulchre. During Easter, the burning Paschal candle next to the ambo let us perceive sacramentally Jesus, the crucified one who is now risen, stepping at the side of his empty sepulchre. There is a third liturgical element that makes Easter Masses stand out, and priests who master the Ars Celebrandi take advantage of it. The blessing and sprinkling of holy water during the penitential act. The rubrics in the Roman Missal indicate that, especially in Easter time, instead of the customary penitential act, the blessing and sprinkling of water may take place as a reminder of baptism. The reason is that in the holy night of Easter, catechumens were baptized and the rest of us renewed our baptismal promises. Throughout the 50 days of Easter, we are meant to remember our baptism, and the sprinkling with holy water is a very perceptible way to remind us. Don't be mistaken, it is not only a symbol. Holy water must be felt. When priests sprinkle the faithful, they are meant to sprinkle everyone. Sacraments and sacramentals are meant to be felt, so the grace they communicate can be perceived. This is so true that you won't let me lie if I say that when the priest walks by the aisle sprinkling us, if we don't get at least a tiny drop of holy water falling at least at the edge of the nail of our pinky, we feel betrayed, we feel left out. And this sensation confirms the importance of perceiving sacraments and sacramentals. Now, what does this have to do with today's Mass? Not only priests, but also the assembly, us, the lay faithful, must practice the Ars Celebrandi. Part of the art of celebrating Mass consists on paying attention not only to the Word of God, but also to the eucological texts of Mass, that is, all the prayers. After the Gloria, the priest prays on our behalf the collect prayer. He doesn't read it from the Missal, but prays it out loud, on our behalf. So we should be following the words of that prayer in our heart and making it ours by listening. This fifth Sunday in Easter, the collect prayer says, Almighty ever-living God, constantly accomplish the Paschal mystery within us that those you were pleased to make new in holy baptism may, under your protective care, bear much fruit and come to the joys of life eternal. The anamnetic clause of this collect prayer reminds God our Father about those he was pleased to make new in holy baptism, that is, all of us. And the last two petitions of this collect prayer are connected to our baptism, that we bear much fruit, 
and that we come to the joys of life eternal. So today's Collect Prayer deliberately reminds us of our baptism as the celebrating priest prays this prayer on our behalf. When just a minute before, we got sprinkled by the holy water, reminding us in a vivid and tangible way about our baptism, then the words of the Collect Prayer make total sense. This way, the sprinkling with holy water during the penitential act and the Collect Prayer are connected through baptism as their motif. This is why priests shouldn't overlook the beauty of sprinkling us with holy water during Easter. Just one important aspect of the Ars Celebrandi, of the art of celebrating Mass in all truth and beauty, as Pope Francis reminds us in his recent apostolic letter, Desiderio Desideravi. Until next time, be passionate about our faith.